we're going out for a day sail or we're going out for a couple days in our boat and we want fresh food, we want healthy nutrient filled food and it should be easy to make and it should taste great. So that's what we're gonna do. And the first thing we're gonna start with is everybody's favorite tahini dressing. I've given this recipe out to everybody I know. Everybody loves it, their kids love it, their grandmothers love it, it's great. So if I'm making this tahini dressing to be um, with all the bits and pieces, I'm gonna put some scallions in, I might put a couple stalks of celery in. If I'm making it just to take out on a boat for a couple days and I want it to last longer, then I might keep it super simple and just do the tahini itself with the oil and the soy sauce and I might even save the lemon and add the lemon later. So first off, um, the tahini that I like to get, and it makes a really big difference for taste, is raw. Raw tahini is not processed at high heats and it's not, it doesn't use chemicals to remove the hulls of the sesame. So it's actually much better for you and it's much tastier. If you've ever had that tahini, it's got that kind of bitter chemically taste to it. Um, this doesn't have that at all. It's sweet. You could eat it right out of the jar. So that's how you know you've got good tahini. This brand Artisana makes a good a good one. There's a lot of, a lot to choose from out there. So I'm not a measuring kind of person. I just kind of go for it. I say that's about how much I want and I find it never comes out the same twice and that is great. Now for those of you who like recipes and I, uh, I appreciate the need for them, um, I do have it all written down in quantities. I kind of like the guessing and I just go for it. A little bit of, um, I use tamari because it's gluten-free and my family is gluten-free, but you can use soy sauce too. And really nice tamari is fermented longer. It's even more flavorful. And then you can um, put a few squirts of flaxseed oil. And I like flaxseed oil because it's very high in omega-3 fatty acids, which is great for your brain. We don't get enough omega-3 fatty acids in our diet these days, our modern diet. In the past, we got a lot of it from the seeds and nuts that we gathered when we were still living out there, gathering seeds and nuts. Um, but these days, you gotta add it in. And so it's a great way to do it. And it, it hides nicely in all these flavors. And then finally, just a little lemon. And, you know, here's a fun thing. The lemon seeds, yeah, they're a little bit bitter and I, don't, I try not to get all of them but a few in there actually help preserve the dressing. So they've got a nice uh, fungicide in, in, or, and um, bactericide in the lemon seeds. So a few is not so bad. And then of course, when you're actually eating the dressing, you might pick them out. So for the amount, I just put in a good uh, two heaping tablespoons of tahini. I might put half a lemon in there. And then I could go ahead and blend this up but since we have the scallions, we're gonna make it extra yummy today. And I just take a good chunk there and throw it in. So if you didn't have a blender and you were on your boat, you could easily take those wet ingredients I just had and put that in a Ziploc bag and mush it up and you'd have your dressing right there. That's it, that's all you have to do. It's the lemon juice, the tahini and the soy sauce and a little extra oil and you're good to go. But since we have a little mini chop, I love this. It's super easy for making, making salad dressings. Like I said, I can put a scallion. I could put some um, salad in there if I wanted and go for it. Sometimes you gotta help the scallions out a little bit. Get them down in there. And then you see, you know, is it, is it, it's not quite wet enough for me. I'm gonna add just a little more lemon juice in there. Plus, what do you ever do with half a lemon? You always end up with half a lemon on your side of your sink, right? So you might as well use it up. Lemons are a great alkalizing vegetable, meaning they help you uh, help absorb minerals and help your digestion. And then the, the last thing you can do, it's still not quite wet enough, and this just has to do with my creative cooking. I'm gonna add just a little, little bit of warm water to it so that when I go ahead and put this on my kale, it's more of a salad dressing and less of a dip. So you can have it thick and more dip-like. This is what I love about not using recipes is you get to make exactly what you want and how you want and you eat it. And there you go. That's it. That's your tahini dip. All set to go. And like I said, you could store that in a Ziploc bag to bring it with you. 
You could even put your kale in the Ziploc bag with the tahini dressing and then mush it up and bring it and you have this amazing lunch. I really love eating a whole huge bowl of kale for lunch and this tahini dressing makes it a true meal. Like I said, I've never found anyone who didn't absolutely love this as a meal, the tahini kale dressing. I mean, put a little more lemon juice just to get it to spread around. But it really is, it's like almost got a Parmesan cheese flavor to it. It's got a really rich flavor to it. So there you go, that's it. That's your tahini dressing. And then of course, like I said, you can dip anything you like in there. That's really good stuff.